a history textbook for high school students in China, mentioned COVID-19 in seven lines, triggering a public debate on the ruling regime's response to the pandemic. On September 16th, a netizen uploaded some pictures on the platform X, showing the latest history textbook in China's high schools. In seven lines, the textbook states, At the beginning of 2020, a sudden outbreak of the COVID-19 epidemic became the major public health emergency, with the fastest spread, the widest range of infections, and the most difficult prevention and control problems that China has encountered since the founding of the People's Republic of China. The party central committee with President Xi Jinping as its core insists on putting people and life first adheres to scientific and precise prevention and control, optimizes and adjusts prevention and control measures according to the situation, protects people's life, safety, and health to the maximum extent, and coordinates epidemic prevention and control and the economy. Social development has achieved major positive results and created a great anti-epidemic spirit. Below this text, the historical aspects part refers to China's role in the anti-epidemic development of the world, in particular China's contribution to the global fight against the pandemic. Moreover, China promptly and proactively reported epidemic information to the WHO, the US, and other nations, and announced the genome sequence of new virus types. China is also the first to develop nucleic acid detection kits. According to the text, as of May 2022, China has cumulatively provided about 430 billion masks, over 4.6 billion pieces of protective clothing, and 18 billion human doses of testing reagents to more than 150 countries and 15 international organizations. It has also provided more than 2.2 billion doses of the new coronavirus vaccine to more than 120 countries and international organizations making it the country that has provided the most vaccines to foreign countries. The post aroused public discussion. One netizen comments, We thank the party for letting us experience wartime life with hunger in three years, which was a very great and meaningful time in our lives. Another asks, Is there any difference between political science and history class now? In April, The Independent reported similar statements in history textbooks for grade 8 students. Those textbooks parrot the Chinese regime's claim of victory over the coronavirus, even though the critics have accused it of hiding the actual data. In December last year, China began scrapping its ruthless zero-COVID policy. That came after the largest show of public dissent against the ruling Communist Party in more than 30 years, by residents who were fed up with constant testing, quarantines, travel restrictions, rolling lockdowns, and business closures.